Welcome to Rockcast. Dire Sin Production. I don't like how that doesn't fade out. Now, hopefully this time it's not going to be all jittery like it has been the last couple times. We're going to double check real quick. Forgive my third world bullshit. Or third world. Third. Nope. We are rolling. We are beautiful. We are lit. We are going. We are excited. Welcome to Rockcast 2.0, the new and improved and a thousand times better version, I would like to think. And we're going to immediately stop fucking around with everything, because it just makes for a bad show. And get me where I want to be, bam. And that's enough of that. I promise I won't be messing with that too much. That's just rude. So, I've got some cool new features, and I'm going to have a guest on today, and uh, god damn it, this is awesome. What? I am excited. Oh, here's a cute video of my dog and her new best friend having a moment. Oh god, yeah, you guys are in for it now, dude, with this, with this sort of technology. <laughs> I can rule the world. Now watch this shit. Now hopefully I have been working all day to get this to work right. So I'm hoping that my efforts will come through for you today. So check this shit out. <laughs> Gets up. <laughs> Shiva, you gonna just let him do that? She doesn't even know that he's there. <laughs> Shiva, you gonna just let him do that? I heard you like, whatever, little man. Quality entertainment. This is what just happened here, folks. I would also love to say that uh, thank you to everybody who has been supporting my channels, especially uh, this one in particular right here. Do, 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 do. Because this is my baby, Hiking with Rot. I'll show you a little bit of something you might not have seen because, so like I said, I don't really think much about what I'm doing here. I never really do. I'm still in the rock cast. Hey, I'm still alive now. Tabs and stuff I watch. Let's go check out see what's here. Dun, dun, dun. This is my best friend, Tracy. Right there. I hope you can hear me over this. Oh, that's your new guy. Hey, I can hear So this show, uh, in Alaska, we don't get, like, record producing people or any of them coming through uh, we have to pay and we had um, Metal Blade Records CBS Records and Bullet Tooth Records thank you Family Tree and everybody involved all hail the mighty queen of Alaskan metal Sarah Peterson but um what a great fucking night that was. And the reason why at the beginning I'm like, well, I fucked up my whole life, so what's one show? Uh, the, the We played with a click track and, yet, and elect, electronic music mixed in with everything. So you had to be on cue. And I think in this case it was more of something wasn't turned on. I can't remember. Either way, epic show. So here I'll just show you. The beginning of it. There's my, there's whiskey, one of my best friends in the world, Carl. You could hear at the beginning that woo. That's my mom, <laughs> louder than a whole crowd of metalheads. <laughs> Fuck it. 
of what we did. Let's see. Split skull. Where was that? Can't stop running to the pit. The moshing anthem. Alright, this next song is our fucking anthem for moshing. It's about going to work and getting a little crazy dealing with traffic, politics, bullshit. This way, that way, blah, blah, blah. This song is called uh, I can't, can't stop, stop running, running to, to the, the fucking pit. pit. This is our boss song. It's actually, I can't, can't stop running to the pit. Shout out to the mighty Split Skull. You get nice to each other. You get along with each other. You help each other out. But at the same time, it's okay. You fuck each other up a little bit. Are you with me, motherfuckers? Make some noise. My ex-wife's in there somewhere. And there's Tracer. Look at that, all the way from Alaska to Washington. Look at that fucking crowd go, dude. This band could have been so... But I might have fucked it up. The fuck, Jeff? Can't stop. I've got a bit of a delay happening here. I don't know if that's showing up on your side. Oh, there's my wife. That's wife officially now, right there. Where'd she go? She's a skinny little evil thing right here. She will fuck up a mosh, but there she goes. God, she was a wretched and mighty creature. This big, tall, sexy fucker right here. I don't know if you can see my mouse. That giant, beautiful man is Jeff. Well, this isn't coming off just fucking awesome. I guess I could fade it out. I can turn it out too. Bitch. 
She was so brutal. Been doing it for like a year. Let's see if there's anything good on this one. You know you're not a very good comedian when the first thing, the second time, you don't bring your guitar with you. People go like, why didn't you bring the guitar, dude? Like, <laughs> it's the only thing that was making you funny. Yeah, fuck you, Jordan. Uh, Jordan does a really good impression of me. Uh, you want to hear it? He talks really fast for 30 seconds about absolutely nothing, and then that's it. I wasn't very impressed. I masturbated. I'm not very did. funny. Not the point. So anyways, oh, you know what? Excuse me, I left my notes over here. I don't normally bring notes because, uh, I don't know. Because when I try to think, as you can tell, I dramatically get less funny. But that's mostly because uh, in, in this brain of mine is basically, if you would imagine, a uh, fishbowl. And inside oh, that fishbowl fish is a goldfish. Too. That goldfish is constantly swimming around. Every three seconds it laps around and forgets what it's doing. It's a goldfish. It's a great fucking life, by the way. It's <laughs> nice up there. Goldfish is chill as fuck. Smoking weed, forget what he's doing, smokes more weed. One day, a fucking squirrel high on crack cocaine falls from a tree into the goldfish bowl and starts drowning. Now you've got a situation. Goldfish swims around, asks Mr. Squirrel, hey, are you all right? Do you need help? The squirrel is drowning. Of course I need help, you fucking idiot. Please get help. Goldfish is like, I'll be right back. Swims around, forgets what it's doing, comes back around, finds a squirrel drowning in its fish tank. What the fuck? Asks the squirrel, are you okay? Do you need help? I think that's hilarious. At this point, the squirrel's almost dead. Like, please, for the love of God, go get help. Goldfish is like, he's a good guy, you know? You know? Now there's no joke there. Anyways, swims away, comes back. Three seconds later, the, the fucking squirrel is dead. Squirrel is dead, now there's a dead and rotting squirrel in the goldfish bowl. Remember, this is my brain. And then the goldfish dies from the dead squirrel. And anyways, that was a stupid joke. So, moving on. Another thing, Jordan, who has somehow become my messiah in learning, because I don't listen, people give me advice all the time, I think you're idiots. I don't listen to you because I'm not a fucking comedian. I'm a metal musician who's trapped in... Shout out, Joe Rogers. Uh, as I stop my bit right there before that, but whatever. Uh, this purple weed I'm smoking, bro, is absolutely delicious. So let's move that down. Nice. My roommates are having fun, it sounds like. Hopefully they haven't set the lawn on fire now. Okay, good. So, as I just mentioned, my good, 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 good buddy Joe Rogers of the comedy in Kitsap and the podcast show, which I was on a bit today. I will actually show you a little clippy clip if I can. It might not be of today's, so Because, uh, no, I did not mean the podcast. I know exactly what the fuck I meant, YouTube. Fuck off with that, man. So, it doesn't look like it's live there. But here was one from a while ago where we smoked a fire What's up? And uh, those are actually both of one of our favorite joints from Fat Panda. And delicious. And here's just some experts. Oh, is that my. Do -do -do. I'm getting dinged. Let's see what we're talking about here. I'm sure it's fascinating. Well, there wasn't. Doug Stanhope yeah. getting high with Doug. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Uh, so, uh, the, uh, the dude from. Uh, there's another dude. Uh, fuck. From the. Uh, Oh, this is like the fifth time I brought up how surprised I was that he got the name the Kitsap Podcast. But, well, this was the Kitsap Podcast. Now, it's the podcast show. This was still in the transitional period. I was like, ah! But see, that's the problem, was that most of the crowd just kind of chuckled. Mm -hmm. They didn't get it. And then ten, ten seconds later, you got it and laughed out loud, and it was hilarious. Oh, that So this joke. thing's burning like a light. Just smoke it. You can't loosen her loosen her up when it's covered in keep. Wow. That's there's the old Joe I missed right there. Bring it back to the dirty dirty boy. So 
the comedy show was a flying success. Uh, not only were the comics rusty as fuck, but the crowd was rusty, which was uh, yeah. I found intriguing. Yeah, yeah. Also, Levi, what was his name? Levi Manis. Great Levi joke. Manis. Levi Manis. Joke? Shout out. I do not mean to tell yeah. you a joke, but... No. No, you wouldn't, because it's no. the best joke I've heard in a long it's time. It's a different audience. Yeah. It was, uh... I love... I love smashing pumpkins. They're my favorite fruit to fuck. <laughs> Dude, that one, and it took like ten seconds. I like yeah. it was a long delay. I remember you one, it laughing me. really yeah. late. I was like, ah! But see, that's the problem was that most of the crowd just kind of chuckled. Mm -hmm. They didn't get it, and then ten, ten seconds later, you got it and laughed out loud, and it was hilarious. So this seems burning like a light. So I mean, I guess maybe because I've been kind of proud of my lighting thing to the point where I've been telling customers like, uh, like, hey man, you want the tip on how to light these? And apparently, uh, proven live that doesn't matter. To Joe, you look good smoking take track, this while surfing Facebook and Messenger. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Ian. Let's see what uh, he seems to be half naked. So help me All God right. if he doesn't have. Well, we're going to go ahead and bring on my guest, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jeff. Yo yo. There he is. All right. Let me bring him up. Ladies and gentlemen, the giant floating head of Jeff What up, Hill. baby? Hey, what's up? Uh, look, what up, baby? Looking, this is, this is my favorite thing ever. You'd be surprised all the shit I could do out here. I just showed a uh, split skull video live of us playing. Uh, oh, yeah? Can't stop running to the pit. Yeah, I don't know if I could do it. Like, I'll uh, take a bong hit real quick. Shout out. Shout out. <laughs> Shout, Shout out, out to baby. Weed. Baby. Weed is great. When did you first smoke weed? Uh, was in fifth. Fourth grade, fourth or fifth grade, uh, riding the little bike trail behind Homestead Elementary School, and Big Andy and my cousin were smoking weed. They were the older kids, you know. They were like in sixth grade, right. the cool kids. And uh, Craig, thought grade. Would, Craig thought it'd be funny to get me stoned, and uh, I got stoned. And then I went and rode my bike, and. Uh, I never. That's how it always works, back. right? Yeah, dude, it's great. Always the older kids. It's, yeah. Right. It's always the older kids that want to laugh at you. Yeah. No, <laughs> that was great. It was great, dude. I loved it. I actually was thinking about it the other day because one of my good buddies passed away, R.I.P. Justin Field. But uh, I was sitting at his celebration of life, and I was like thinking, you know, of all the good times we had, and. He got me really stoned for the first time, and by that, I mean he smoked me a whole blunt to the face, and uh, uh, it was funny because I think back, and it was exactly that. It was just the older older guys trying to fucking get me all stupid, and uh, I'll never forget it. When, when you're stoned, there's nothing funnier than getting somebody stoned. That's why men have been blowing uh, weed into their dog's ears since the first wolf that ever crawled around a planet. <laughs> <laughs> That's on. right. Is that even true? It's got to be. It's got to be. I can't yes. remember which one of my friends, but one of them would always fucking do that. And I never believed that would fucking work in a million years. Yeah, no. You blow. You got to blow it in their nose. Uh, the way they breathe. Like, well, I always told people, Go blow a hit of weed into your ear. You know, you yeah, have right. ear infection from the moisture. Yeah, fuck that. Oh, hey, Some uh, hot a quick couple shout outs. All right, um, shout out. You want me to type them up? Uh, if you want to. Um, um, I have a feeling with you I'm not going to want to. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> shout out. Well, yeah, I mean, normally I say something silly or gross or disgusting or... You know, talk about your pubes or something. Thank you. But, uh, no. Shout out to, uh, 
brought. Love you, dog. Thank you for having me on today. Um, oh, me too, man. But, this is just the beginning. Uh, shout out Doc Love the Kids. Uh, later this month, we're having a charitable barbecue cook-off. Um, and your boy is on the ribs, son. Oh, shit. That's a, that's a dual charity. The money you raise, and they get to eat your fucking ribs, which I've had. Last year was a big success. We even oh, had right. the mayor out to uh, judge the contest. It was pretty cool. And what's that again? It's uh, the second annual barbecue cook-off over at Boom House Studios off of Rydell. Um, I could thought I should have had the fucking date handy. Hey, man, I should have had this I don't want show to... programmed. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, sorry. We lost Jeff, guys. He talked about... I can still hear you. Can rule. you still hear me? Oh, yeah, yeah. The first rule of Barbecue oh, Club is cool. I can do talk both. about Barbecue Club. And he talked about <laughs> it. took him out. Right? Especially when it's a fucking fight. Yeah. Yeah. Well, cool. Let me get that date real quick. All right. Sounds aggressive. Sorry, terrible timing. No, no, no. Do what you do, dude. I could do all sorts of stuff. I could switch windows and make you disappear. Uh, yeah, I've got, I've got the power. Uh, okay, that was weird. Um, bam, bam. bam. <laughs> it's get, it's get, it's getting kind of hectic. Uh. So, uh, August 29th, Saturday, August 29th, noon, be there, Schoolhouse Studios, check out my ribs, uh, might even show you my titties. Alright, I mean, I didn't need the extra incentive. And you gotta wear a mask, you pussies. Yeah, it's not a big deal, just wear a mask. I'm gonna resize. Hey, where do you here. see the, where do you see the mask thing going, how long? Uh, ho oh shit, um... As long as it needs to, I hope. Fuck, man. I don't know. I'm so mad about how stupid people are being about it. You, you got to wear pants when you go in a store. No shoes, no shirt, no service. This is not new. No seat belt, right. no windshield. People are just being inconsiderate fucktards. So, yeah, oh. it's true. I was actually on the non-mask bandwagon originally. And, uh... I, I'd be a liar if I didn't admit that you uh, helped talk me into it with some of your posts, but yeah, it's 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 uh, something bigger than yourself. But I just I can't imagine how long it's gonna go. Probably a while. I mean, we didn't handle it well as a country. Look, let's say what we will about the communist, but when they want their people to stay inside. They stay inside or they get hit with sticks. <laughs> right, right. They so get their rations taken Thailand, away. Thailand, and, and don't, I mean, obviously double check on these, but what I heard from either Rogan or somebody much smarter than me was that those countries Probably. are returning back to pretty much normal because they beat it. They got their second wave coming, and they already know what to deal with it. Man, we're so good at everything. We're going to make five and six. Is it that weeks. or nobody wants to go there? Well, no, but they're people. Yeah, I mean, nobody's going anywhere, but they're people. Yeah, man. I just... Colossal fuck up, America. I mean... Surprise. It, uh, yeah. I don't know, man. I just... uh, I, I, I don't know. It's just going to be really weird getting back into the live scene being able to go see concerts. You see that uh, some comedians are starting to do drive-in shows. Yeah, they did that in Alaska the first two weeks. I thought it was epic. It's a good idea. I think it's a great idea. Dude, there's no reason we can't evolve and change it up a little bit. And you know what? All uh, people are going to... I would love to be sitting in my car watching a show. Yeah, you smoke weed. You ain't got to worry about security coming up on you and shit. It's like a driving. But there's also this technology now, you know, and the ability to right. to to do shows like this. And, yeah, man. And people are going to be more grateful. 
They're going to be more appreciative. They're going to want to go to shows again. They're going to want to buy merch. It seems to me the right. perfect time for a band to hypothetically get really good for the next while and then just pop up. But, dude, look at Lamb of God. All of them are doing uh, quarantine. Like our band? Yeah. So, did you say a cover We got to start coming up with names. I said our band. Oh, I wasn't going to mention that. I was, you know, throwing out teasers. Yeah, uh, I bet. Yeah, oh, dude. <laughs> dude, I, I like that clip you did the other day. Yeah, that one's a good one. That, dude, that was just that when we dropped down and I'm just all, oh, but my, my voice is ready, dude. And without drinking, I won't be a whatever the fuck I was. It'd just be a happy guy. No, 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 no. We're going to rock, rock, as soon as rock. They, me and Brennan would look at each other during the middle of the jams and just be like, yes, this is what we wanted, bro. Yeah, as long as I don't talk is... between songs, we'll be fine. Bro, I love when I you don't fucking talk ideas. between songs. No, I'm just going to run bits. You know what I hate about Penguins, guys? Oh, oh, we're starting the song? Okay, okay, go, go, go. Penguins are evil. This song is or your called. classic, uh, your classic conclusion to a show of, uh, all right, kids, don't smoke meth. Love you. <laughs> Bye. I got in, tr I got in trouble at favorite. work for that. I had a customer complain to Don because really? I always say that. I thought it was a public service announcement, you know, where I am. PSA, yeah. It looks like this is still going well, around good. here. Uh, yeah, this is better quality than last time. I don't know what oh, you're dude, doing different. Three hours, me and Joe Rogan stealing all of Joe Rogan's ability. Or Joe Rogan. What's that furry fucker's name? Rogers. All hell Rogan. Joe Rogers. Joe Rogers. We got to get you running again. Yeah, I, I really, really want to... Um, I want you, I want you to be the first guy, dude. But uh, <laughs> Nick was showing me something called show? Streamyard. Is this something different? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, I just thought you wanted me to be the first guy. I was like, you know, it's been so long at this point. I don't even think I'll be able to tell the difference. You said you had man tears, <laughs> right? <laughs> I'll tell yeah, you. I'm about an A right now. Dennis. So how many how, oh. how many episodes do you got now of this show? Yeah, you're, you're pretty good. Unero, pumping out content. Numero one is what we're calling this, my friend. Really? So we're yeah. 3.0 now. Yeah, well, let's see. There's Rockcast, and there's probably about. I think there was, a, there was a few. I don't remember. I don't know. I know. I actually went Rock back and watched five. part of your first episode. Yeah, I was going to show the that. The other day. Good. I should show that right now. What was that, like five years ago or so? Something, dude. It was awful. Well, it's funny, though. The very first one I did, my pilot was uh, edited by my sister-in-law, which made it really cool. I loved it. That was Really? Yeah, I always... That's why I always like the idea of somebody else editing it. You film it, Who's and then you give it to somebody else. Or... Yeah, Summer. She didn't really it's in our show, is it? Yeah, Summer and Daniel did a couple times. I know Amanda did. <laughs> Dude, every time you think of a fucking punny song title, please, God, write it down. Uh, that's not how I do it. It would be more like, Jeff, what did that riff make you think of? And then you'll say something ridiculous, and that's what I'll write the lyrics yeah. about. Such as stealing it's the coffers. unfortunate way of stealing coffers. Yeah, that's a great one. Well, you got to pander to the local market. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, the thing know. is, is you, you know really fuck exactly that, what that song's about. Some people have put the lyrics. I yeah. All right. Can, dude, yeah. Oh, I'm excited. So, uh... <clears throat> When do you when do you think they're gonna open back up shows? Mm. When do you think I mean, nobody... common sense is gonna rule America? 
Shit. So never. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Yeah, we're fucked. We're fucked. <laughs> I mean, is it is it a, a matter of oh, not perfect. getting it or a matter of when you get it? Dense populations, stupid people. I, I don't know, Jeff. We, uh, it seems I don't, nobody knows. to be overblown, underblown, really dangerous, not that dangerous. Uh, I just hope it ends so I can get. They're nuts. Hey. Oh. How, how does that How does that work for a single guy in uh, 2020 post? Post pandy, post COVID, you what do you swipe on Tinder and you gotta fucking have your test results and the the about me? I have ne that is one of my jokes. It's not even that. I want <laughs> people to carry around STD cards or a chip. We can mod modify it or a phone app. That's a great great one. But you go and you meet your person at the restaurant or whatever. You order your appetizers. You're going to split them anyways. And then you swap information, you know? I mean, maybe you don't mind she's had chlamydia three times and one blind baby. What matters is if one does, blind she, baby. does she enjoy walks That's an Alaskan thing. Yeah, no, it's not an Alaskan thing, you piece of shit. It's a chlamydia thing, which kind of makes it an, an Alaskan thing. You know what? <laughs> it's cold up there. You'll cuddle with anybody that'll cuddle with you, bruh. Bruh. You ever got an STD? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I had chlamydia. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's how I know about the blind baby thing. <laughs> <laughs> How yeah. how did you pick up chicks back in the day? I was a metalhead singer in one of the most popular metal bands in a very small state, Jägermeister, cocaine, you know. Did it always roll. go down at uh, Coots? Coots? <laughs> What's that? Cunts, Coots, that bar you always talk Coots. about? Chill Coot Charlie's Coots now. It's a modern name. What town is that in? Anchorage. Where were you born? Granada Hills, California. Oh, that's right. That's yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. My mom uh, drove a VW bus with everything we owned and me to Alaska to escape the FBI. And we've checked the uh, statute of limitations as well over on this. For making a uh, black market Jimi Hendrix eight tracks, wow. and fuck dude, me. what was your what was your first band? My first band. This yeah. is weird. This feels like a a backwards interview. <clears throat> My first band was Hate Slave. Hate Slave. Hate Slave. Yeah, it's right up there somewhere. If you, you look come up, up with that. Wall, I actually, I did. I did. It was, uh, I hate myself and I'm a slave to her emotions. Was what was it that the whole, every song I wrote, all 10 songs Aww. were about Monkey, the mother of my children. You can't see it right now, but I'm zooming in on the flyer. Is that the one with the redhead? No. Yes. Oh, the redheaded kid. Let's say, yeah. yeah. Monkey had red. There it is, that flyer. Right How old is he now? Like 12? Uh, Danny's 14 and the redhead is 12. Yeah. Oh, both of them? No, only one of them is a redhead. I only have one redhead. They're both yours? Yeah. I got five. Five blood God. children plus Mitchell plus the two girls. <clears throat> I got a lot of kids. I will make it is, to space. Is birth control just not a thing up there? Uh, sure. not for me so much. A lot of birth control up there, trust me. If people bred as much as they fucked, they'd be like rabbits. Dude, it'd be overrun in no time. It'd be tragic. So how long did Hate Slave last? Let's see. Let me look at the flyer. Hold on. It's on the flyer. 
2013, I think. Yeah. Fire. I don't know, man. I think it was around 2005, 2003. Yeah, it had to be around that time when I got divorced and everything, so. Your late 20s? Uh, early 30s, I think. Well, yeah, 29. 29, 28. Yeah, I was 29 when Katie left me. So I was I was 28 when she left me. Tw- Why'd she leave you? Uh, same reason they all do. Same reason you did. Right. Anyways, um, yeah, man. And then we uh, formed Hate Slave, and then I fucked that all up. And then Murder is Justice, who is now Decepticide, who is amazing. Okay, I remember you talking about them. Oh, yeah. Murder is Justice was the jam. Out of all the bands I've been in, it was... Like, in my groove pretty close to what I wanted it to be. Machine Corpse, it was like industrial with me being thrashy. Um, right, Chris whatever with Chris his uh, industrial God. backtracking. Yeah, backtracking, dude. He's he's from the future. He is from the future. He, he is the birthing of Elon Musk going forward to the future and forward Fucking a sentient Elon Musk Tesla model sex robot 2421 one b and having a baby with it. That baby gave birth to the sentient creature known as Chris Barton, who traveled back in time to gather up ancient guitars and bring them home so he can masturbate on them. It's in it's ahead of his time. Journey. Ahead of and behind of his time. Can you imagine being a time traveler? Man, have you ever just thought it was Tuesday and it's like Thursday? Could you imagine your whole life's like that? You're like, oh, fuck, it's an AM, PM Thursday? <clears throat> Dark ages? If you could travel back in time, what time period would you go to? You see, this, folks, is why I need Jeff. To help write my shows. What was your first I band think I might have you, come you were ever in, Jeff? Um, Split Skull. Split Skull. I've heard of them. Yeah. Pretty yeah. brutal. First band. I know we've talked about it before, but. God damn it. I actually grew up being a rapper, believe it or not. I'm not surprised. You guys grew up in a much more you know, my favorite thing culture. in the world, dude. Did I ever wear this at a split skull show? I don't remember. No, but you should fucking wear it at our next show. Oh, I will. This thing has hurt me bad, dude. I got a staph infection because of this fucking thing. I used to take it off and uh, put it behind me on the drum kit, and I fell backwards into it once. Fucked me up. Gee, I wonder how that happened. At once. Why is that bar so popular? It's an amazing bar. It's got an old West feel to it. Well, see, there's the original Chilkoot, which has been bought out by Sarah Peterson and a bunch of local musicians and business owners that rebranded it as Coots. So now it's new. But it's got eight, uh-huh. one, two, three, four, five, six bars inside of it. So you got like a dance bar, another bar, and they're all connected. And they have comedy on one stage and a and a, another comedy show or a burlesque show. And then, and it, they have huge concerts. Think of it as like the El Corazon with like five other bars okay. attached to it. Yeah, but it's that intimate. That's that level of stage. That's where I What's did the What's the biggest AR. band you've seen there? Like, most uh, popular. I opened I opened for Suicide Silence there. That was pretty big. No shit. Yeah. Man right there. Damn. Dude, I just started <laughs> oh, listening to them, actually. Screen. Dude, he's great. You are the rock cast. I could actually move. I am the rock cast. I'm the embodiment of the rock cast. There's no denying the inspiration that I am. <laughs> It's hard. 
I know it's not easy for you. You like my shit talking on your uh, pop podcast show? Yeah, well, I was trying to tell Joe if we're gonna do it live on Facebook, we gotta have one of us reading the comments, because I had my phone way over there and I just saw sodomize. I don't know why that's the only word I could read, <laughs> but I was like, oh, oh, we got Jeff Hill. Uh, let's see what Jeff's got to say. This should definitely up it. <laughs> Yeah, I, just, I got a million fucking ideas for that show, and like you were saying, it's fucking amazing that uh, he got that fucking handle, the name, you know? I know. It really is. But he wants to keep that one more serious. He's a lot like I am. We're not like you, you zany bastard. Uh, zany, I love that word. It's a good word. Well, I mean, I know... Ian, obviously, being the uh, keyboard master he is, I didn't know. Um, he never brought that up about himself. That's just weird being a musician. Well, that's why I was. I know he's got probably some more free time now that uh, you know the shop's closed or whatever. Well, that's been it. Yeah, and his wife's been real supportive. I'm surprised you guys never did anything before. But it wasn't an option. I had no idea he had any of these aspirations. Uh, this therapy for Ian, a thousand percent. That's all I'll get into that. But I'm impressed by A, his knowledge. I, okay, I guess he used to have a, his own band, like Nine Inch Nails. It was like his hero solo act from way back in the day. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, so it's just another thing that just kind of manifested it out of his everything. And I think he kind of leaned on me or turned towards me because it was a help. Whatever it is, yeah, I'm, you know, I, I love music and I encourage you. And I started encouraging. Where is Dyerson Productions, by the way? What is it? Where is it? It's at the meat store. Oh, really? No, I've never been there. I don't want to. Yeah, we've just been waiting for the for the COVID to go away. What am I not allowed there? No, yeah, everybody's allowed there. Well, right now we're having some issues. We do have to move. Uh, are you masturbating right now? Like, I, don't know. I hear you talk about them all the time. Don't tell yes. That beginning okay, music you hear on a hike with Rock. Who the biggest like local band? Thirty Six Crazy Fist. Hundred. Like they didn't make it. You know what I'm saying? Quote unquote. Mmm, Mag, uh, The Hoons, Decepticide. Who was that fucking punk band you, you uh, shared the other day? Oh, that's Spit Shine. Yeah, yeah, they're pretty yeah. fucking dope. Oh, they're, they're incredible, dude. They're the funnest band in the world. We used to play a bunch of shows with them, which brought together the punk and metal scenes. But, but Alaska didn't really... You just played, man. You'd have all the bands together. I don't really believe in, you know. You, and the good showrunners would set it up with the slower music and then build and then build and then build. So you'd have maybe a single dude with the guitar playing folk, but he kind of stepped it up because it was a metal show. So his folk was, yeah, and Dopiet. Sure. Oh, Dopiet. Dopiet, of course. Um, and then Callahan. Callahan was fucking huge. Uh, Callahan, huh? Yeah, and then of course uh, Dyer, my band. Machine Corpse, my band. Hate Slave, my band. Uh, and then Theory of Hate, my old band. Hate Slave turned so into deep. Theory of Hate, just to fuck with me. <laughs> they they deny it, but I know it's true. They actually made it pretty big. They actually they made, they released some albums and shit. Yeah, that was. I've got two dude. albums. <laughs> Yeah, what well, happened? You saying you almost opened well, for Lamb of God? Was that the for, uh, 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 Warp Tour? <laughs> no, that was yeah. Lamb of God came to. Dude, we were you think they there. even made it to Alaska? <clears throat> no, they, no, they never did. I would have been there. They, uh, they just, you know, they just skipped Alaska. Yeah, bastards. Yeah, they. Uh, it was pretty. They make rough. more money in Europe. It was <laughs> the number one reason I left Alaska. Was that shit? That, that shit, I broke up with Dyer. Dyer, we were breaking up. My bass player, Kellen, 
was in Dire and Machine Corps with me. We weren't getting along, but he was ready to quit Dire, and I told him, hey. So it was Dire that was going to open? Yeah, Dire. I, I got promise from Sarah Peterson of Family Tree. Love you, Sarah. Uh, if Lamb of God ever came to Alaska, Dennis, and you're in a band, you could open for him. That's how I got the Is show. Is that the promoter? Yeah, it's the promoter. God, goddamn Sarah. Goddamn Peterson. The goddamn queen of Alaska metal. And now she's working in San Francisco or San Diego and bringing her magic down there, man. I'm jealous for all those fuckers that get to benefit from her. Oh, wow, that's way better. Yeah. So, like, Jacob... She was, she was the, the the promoter. They know each other, actually. I was hoping oh, once shit. we got rolling more, I was already kind of talking to Sarah and Jacob about, you know, getting us up to Alaska. Because everything I do, I, I always have to go home and show my family. Unfortunately, right. Skull did not make it that far. Jeffrey... What was your favorite man? Mm. Every mm. single fucking one of them, man. Every Who? single one of them. Gun Back to your head. head. Pick one. Mm. Machine Corps, I guess, for the most shows and the tightest shows. Uh, Split Skull didn't last long enough. Insubordinate Bastards, maybe, because it was the funnest, but Hate Slave, because it was the first. Dire was my favorite music, lyrically. Like, the shit I wrote for that was genius. Would you pledge allegiance to a corrupt flag, this corporate empire, America, and to the republic for which we still stand? This mighty nation is under our thumb. Yeah. Would you say Alaska is a little more right leaning, if you will? <laughs> That's what I would assume. Mm. 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 Yeah. I, my point being is like with the Machine Corps, uh, obvious uh, political, uh, you know, undertones, if Very you will. Very liberal, though. Very liberal on our under on our. On our lyric, because I was a lyricist. Right. Well, that's well, that's my point. Is like, did you ever catch shit for it? No, God, no. People don't care about the lyrics. They never. Nobody was like, older. George Bush is, is my president. How dare you? He's oh, a he's a oh, traveler. Yeah. We got. Shit I don't know how to describe yeah. him. Is he fr is he from up there? Uh, most of his life, yeah, I believe so. I believe so. Palmer, no shithole. Palmer. Palmer, Alaska. You ever had uh, any near-death experiences up there? <laughs> like, lots. He laughed. Like, like, every fucking winter, dude. Just having fun. <clears throat> Snow machining once, I almost, in a whiteout, uh, the only reason I didn't was I had to take a piss. So I stopped, and then I almost stepped off a 20-foot fucking cliff. Uh, cause it was where they strip mined and it's where they went between the mountains and there was like a 40 foot gap and I almost just fucking rode right off it. Wouldn't even seen it. Would have died. Uh, I've been, I've been swept in rivers. I've, uh, car, cars spinning, going, flipping b buses, uh, boat, boats almost collided in a boat once going about 30 up a river. Uh, stuck in the mud flats. Uh, pooped next to a bear. Pooped next to a bear once. I don't know if that counts as almost dying, but you think about it. Uh, Run me through that, bro. That's one of my favorite bits. All right, I'll really? run through it. Yeah. <clears throat> well, it's the same time my dad caught me smoking pot. Same hunting trip. I was about 18, 17, 17, and I hunt with my dad. <laughs> And, uh, well, the, the first part of it is, uh, okay, I got to remember the joke. I just got to remember the story, how I want to put it. So I was uh, smoking cigarettes, and my dad hated that. 
And he was like, dude, get the fuck away from me. I'm spotting game. You're going to scare him away. So I'm like, cool. So I get on my freewheeler and I Ooh, the freewheeler. Yeah, the big red, the big red neck, the neck snapper 200. Dude, fucking, For real. Yeah, rode that fucker thing. And uh, I just, I remember I rode around the trail and up around the thing, got to a spot, got off my three-wheeler, sat down. And was like, I'm going to smoke some weed, man. My dad can't see me. My my Vietnam War veteran sniper 101 infantry paratrooping dad couldn't see me. So I'm, man, smoke, man. So I'm smoking my weed, right? And... uh all of a sudden, I look right across from me in the valley, and I'm like, what is that? What is that shining fucking bright-ass light? It's like it's like a sun. And I realized I right then and there me. that my dad was scoping me. He was 30-odd six and watching me smoke weed. Uh, the feeling <laughs> in my stomach, dude, well, it literally scared the shit out of me. So... I decide I'm going to fuck off for another hour or so before I go back and deal with that. And then I had to take a shit. So I park my three-wheeler. I leave my 30 out 6 sitting, leaning on the three-wheeler. I go about 10 feet from it into the woods, and I proceed to do what a bear would do in the woods. And I shit you not, mm. Jeff. I look up. I look to my right. Didn't hear it coming. Didn't smell it. Fucking grizzly bear from... 10, 10 to 12 feet away from me while well, I've got my pants around my ankles and I'm leaning up against a tree just defiling it. Uh, so uh, how old are you? Happens. I was 18, 17, 18. Here's what happens. It doesn't matter how old you are, Jeff. Here's what happens. First off, my entire body stops being a male. It stops being anything identifiable other than possible meat. I knew that instinctively. Also, uh, uh, my 30 out six, the one thing that could protect me from this bear was on the other side of the bear. And he fucking knew it. So I remember it got, it got real quiet. Your gun? Yeah, my gun. It got real quiet. And I looked at this fucking creature. And it looked me in the eye. And I recognized in its, in its gaze something universal and it was it was disgust it was like how could you just come into my living room and just shit all over my house you two-legged fucking monkey piece of shit and it it, it literally went Ugh. and then it just walked walked away that was that was a twofold oh, mysterious, shit. yeah 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 big shit couldn't shit. Probably didn't shit for a week. So to answer the question, does a bear shit in the woods? Maybe. I know I never will again. But um. <laughs> <laughs> do they do they teach you bears safety in elementary school up there? Uh, yeah. Or anything like that. If it's a black bear, you're gonna die. You're supposed to curl up. And no matter what it does, don't make a noise, play dead. If it's a grizzly bear, climb a tree. You'll be fine. It'll get bored with you after a while. Grizzly bears are like, bear, whatever. Now, I ran I ran face first into a moose playing guns as a kid. You know, ran around a fence and the moose's ass was like, here, boom. It didn't care. Yeah, moose, are, moose, are, moose are way scarier and deadlier than fucking uh, bears. Moose will fucking headbutt your truck. They'll come up and, boom, what the fuck are you doing in my yard, bitch? Yeah. They kick the fuck out of people. That'd be fucking freaky. Yeah. I can't even deal with the fucking buffalo up at the, the game farm. Well, you don't have to. That's the only place you'll find them. Yeah. I mean, that's like right. Steve-O, and you jump Thanks in a Thanks for cave. being on the Rockcast, man. 2.0. Share. Love. Yeah, thanks for having me. I got to do this. I guess I can wait till you're gone. Yeah, man. Dude, thanks for fucking playing. And, dude, I'm serious about having you maybe start 
doing something for DSP, like for reals. Like maybe just write, just a writer or some bits. You are a genius when it comes to that shit, dude. So I would really like to have uh, Yeah, when it comes to childish ideas, uh, I'm your man. Well, yeah, because I'm... I can't do it. I'm, I take myself entirely too seriously. Like, ridiculously <laughs> so. Like, I am such a douchebag, dude. It's why I don't make comedy music. Because I'm like, M music is real. Like, God damn it. <laughs> dude, dude, Check man. out Just Basement. Just um, Basement. Doc loves the kids. Please, if you got some uh, extra school shit, go donate. Boomhouse Studios off Rydale Road, August 29th. Barbecue. Is that um, the name of them? Because I like that. Jeff's Golden well, Shower Ribs. I, I'm undecided. It might be strawberry jalapeno. It might be uh, Carolina Ooh. Gold Barbecue Sauce. Ooh, strawberry. If you haven't tried Carolina Barbecue Sauce, uh, I've, I've, do I that. don't. Uh, I'm not a huge fan, to be honest, of Carolinas, but the strawberry jalapeno. Pino sauce, dude. That oh, yeah, sounds baby. that sounds like some shit right there. All about that sweet heat, baby. Yeah. For sure. Alright, my man. Well, I'm gonna have right, to thanks now. again. Yeah, thank you, dude. That was awesome. Alright. Tell you Jennifer next I love her. Thanks for renting me out renting you out to me for an hour. <laughs> All right, Count on it, dude. Later. <laughs> All right. That went as awesome, if not better, than I thought it was going to. Uh, so I would like to thank Jeff from Jeff's Basement, from Split Skull, and from Something New, hopefully. He doesn't get sick of me uh, for being on today. And guys, I really, really hope that you know how much work I've been putting into this shit and how much it means to me that you watch it and uh, enjoy it. You know, there's no point in you watching if you're not enjoying it. And I promise you, I am working really hard to make it uh, as goddamn entertaining as you can. And it's going to get better. I promise you. I love you all. Thank you for watching. I'm going to hopefully have this happen now. And it will be awesome. Goodbye. I love you. Thanks for listening. This is a Listen to